seems like we always come together at a gas pump. We're on the road to Lake Taupin, Florida, where I think I'm bringing the cold weather with me. Uh, in a few days, it's gonna be kind of chilly down there, but uh, we're uh, down here for the first stop of the Crappie Masters event for the year. And uh, man, I'm ready to go fishing. I'm ready to, to get this season rolling and uh, now the answer me this why is why is every motorcycle rider got to act like they got to let us know that they're riding their motorcycles drop me a comment in the comments there every time they go go by and they gotta go blah, 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 you know whatever I'm just, what good lord it'd be like every time i drive by with my vehicle i go me it almost turned me again. Yeah, like I ain't going. I ain't going to buy a motorcycle ever because I got to drive up. And go. Yeah, it's early. It's early in the morning. But guys, hey, we're really excited to get this going. Lake Tampa, Florida. We're in route. We're here at Bucky's. We're going to get a great sandwich, and we're going to put about five, six hours on the road today, and we'll be there. So stick around. And see what's going to happen in the future. Logging. 
video logging. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Yeah. video <laughs> vlogging, vlogging. That's what yeah. we're doing. <laughs> so, anywho, we've uh, stopped at one Bucky's, and as you can see one Bucky's. Now, Bucky's, if you want to sponsor the travel vlog, uh, you can get a hold of me and all my social medias. Uh, Bucky's is one of my favorite places to stop. Stop and get some brisket, get some beaver nuggets. And can't hardly fish and be on a travel deal without beaver nuggets. But uh, I mean, that's the place, man. Just like 200 gas pumps. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But we got, uh, again, an hour and a half or so. And going to get on the water and I'm, I'm thinking that those crappies and I'm just guessing those crappies are we're going to be in the, still the winter staging and I think they're going to be in that creek channel but uh, you got to go check it all got to check the flats got to check it it's not going to be super warm every day this week there's going to be a couple days it's going to be uncomfortable uh, rain and wind and cold so uh, we're prepared though we got all the stuff we need to do and We'll just keep our head down, keep grinding, and keep our focus. But uh, guys, drop in the comments if you're liking uh, what you're seeing. If there's anything that uh, you'd like to see us uh, add to uh, this week, you're going to see it all. Get, get ready for a tournament. All right. We'll keep driving. You stay tuned. We'll see you soon. Next time, probably be on the water. to the YouTube channel. What's up, Matt Tuttle Fishing? Hey, we're down here for the first Crappie Masters event of the year of 2024 here on beautiful Lake Talquin. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Now let me tell you something. You see me, I'm in shorts and a, a, a thin shirt. Now tomorrow I'm, I'm going to be in every bit of gear I've got. They, they got some cold fronts moving through this week. Uh, but their coldest night is 29 degrees, so I'll take that. It's still going to be cold, but I'll take it. But uh, yeah, down here we got uh, an afternoon of practice to get in. And then uh, today is Monday. And then uh, the first day of competition is not till Friday. So we're gonna be really breaking this lake down in sections and really looking, doing a lot of graphing, a lot of looking around. And it's gonna be interesting to see what happens uh, to these Florida crappie uh, when it gets cold. So. Um, I'm very interested, in, but man, I am supplied with the best jig makers, plastic makers, rod companies. I have the best of everything, and so it comes down to me trying to put the puzzle together. So, guys, you stay tuned. More of this to come. got to start somewhere don't we look at that new collar from B&M crappie baits look at that again it's not a giant at all but it's a clue we've been here half hour so B&M crappie baits a little darker on the side it's just like a minnow hmm.
I got you that time. Man, you know, these fish are so finicky right now. Golly, man. Just, they're heavy fish. That's almost three quarters of a pound there. Still looking. We're still looking. Putting pieces of the puzzle together. Still trying to figure out exactly where they're at or what they want. That's what pre fishing is all about. Just putting puzzles. Pieces of the puzzle together. He was more interested in hitting that all black thing than my bait. I had to keep showing him the jig. I said, here, eat this. All right. So what I'm putting together here is, let's see him go back down. That was cool. But what I'm putting together here is if I drop it in front of a fish, he has no reaction to it. Just go to another fish. Because I put it in front of another fish and he'll just eat it. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on fish that are just inactive and just looking at it. So this is going to help cut down on my, on my time looking around and checking things out. So again, catching little ones ain't all bad. Just understanding what's going to bite and what's not going to bite. There, I got you. There, I got you. Well, you can see what color I get no more. The uh, watercolor is off. And uh, they've had some rain down here. We're going to get some more rain. But uh, the old purple and chartreuse triple tail is coming through so far. <laughs> what a lucky man I am. It's super nice fish. Just super nice. Now these aren't these aren't what we want for the tournament. We've got to get them bigger than that. But uh, man, just healthy, thick, big crappie. <laughs> oh. What do I say? What do you do that you don't fish? When you ain't fish, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh. Got him. Got him. Might be just 
a little nicer. We're starting to patrol around us. We're being surrounded, Captain. <laughs> These locals down here got good eyes. <laughs> he did tell you. He did. Yo. Got all kinds of stuff going on here. There we go. About the same size they did. Oh, look at him. <laughs> oh. Guess what? His friend's still down there. <laughs> we go to try to catch his buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. buddied up there and they got like one or two they get a lot more aggressive I just want to be careful see I didn't want to bring them up in inside those fish on the screen Listen, we got to quit a little early. We got to go work on uh, where we're going to go stay at. So, uh, but the end of day one practice, uh, and they're pulling water. And so, with them pulling water, um, that really scatters the fish. But what I was really excited about was I was able to, I was able to put together some patterns and caught one of the right ones today. I caught one over two pounds today, so we need seven of those uh, to be competitive in the tournament. So, but uh, really nice fish today. Caught, you know, quite a few three-quarter pounders, to right at a pound. Uh, but we need those two pounders, and we're on a great start. And I always talk about again putting those pieces of the puzzle together. And I don't want to seem redundant, but it really is. It's always just putting those pieces together. So. Uh, really excited. I know the weather's going to change a bunch, but I don't know if they're going to pull water all week. So uh, if they uh, if they pull water all week, this is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Uh, but hey, day one's in the books. We'll pick up. Uh, we'll do a little tour of where we're staying at, and uh, we'll catch up with you then. after the next and, and this trip down you know we we find out at 10 o'clock last night the place that we we thought we had rented was no longer available now I have no idea how that works and So, long story short, we uh, we work it out. They find us a place, and so that's obviously where we're at. And of course, we'll do a little we'll do a little tour here um, of the place. But our other place now that was going to be the deal because uh, there was a pool table. And I love to play pool. And I thought we were gonna, you know, if I wasn't gonna cash a check in a tournament, I was gonna at least make some money off the house this weekend. But, uh, 
But anywho, we got settled in. We got uh, about a half day in of practice. And um, it was pretty cool. Uh, caught a good one. Caught a real good one. Uh, it was over two pounds. So, I'm really excited about that for sure uh, because I saw a couple other ones on the screen too that uh, that were good ones. So, but we have got some adverse weather coming in. Um, evidently, I brought it from Ohio. Tomorrow, I mean, hey, let's start with today. I was sweating fishing, so. Um, it was what 70 today? Yeah, 70 degrees. When we left Ohio, it was one. When I left out of the boat barn, it was one degree. So, just that's the kind of cold that just hurts. But so, we get down here sweating. And then tomorrow is a high of 51 and a low of 20. So I know what cold weather does to bass fishing in Florida. But I don't know what it does to crappies. So I've, this is only the second time I fished Florida. So it'll be real interesting. I think. It's probably going to be like most times, the first day of the front doesn't really bother. Um, but, I don't know, we'll see. But, so my, my, my cameraman, he says, Matt, tell him you do. You've got to try Zaxby's. <laughs> okay. Uh, and so I know, hey, you know, Zaxby's a chicken place or what have you. But this particular one had a 2.5 Yelp <laughs> rating. And, you know, sometimes people just get on there and hate. So I was like, well, we'll give it a try. So we get there, and let me tell you AA Ron, D Nice, and Block A was working. <laughs> oh, and I will let it at that. So we ate some chicken and left. And as I'm leaving, comes this guy out of nowhere. He's got a complete solid face mask on. I'm like, great. He's gonna rob the store. No. He comes out of there and all of a sudden he's just telling everybody he's gotta go home. So we came home. <laughs> Man, you know, you go to the city. You take a couple fellas like Russ and I. <laughs> you take us into the city. So the city here is Tallahassee. Everywhere around the lake, people are wonderful. Are they not, Russ? Yeah. I mean, just great day. wonderful people. Um, they were completely set back in the 60s and 70s here. I mean, I... Yeah. Sorry, and I was getting the Jayco Raw set up for tomorrow. And getting uh, all my stuff around. I tell you what, uh, I stopped at Eastside Bait and Tackle. And uh, man, he just set me up with everything I needed. Um, the barrel swivels. I mean, he just mad at Eastside Bait and Tackle. Uh, he's got a new product, and it's from Hotski. Uh, um, with this Hotski fire gel. And then he's gonna be carrying these things called fireballs and the little round balls that uh, you tip your jig with. And, but uh, anyhow, he got me all set up with this stuff I was, I was needing. And then 
you get a couple of these bait pins, or these pins here, and you take this off, and you take this off, and you take the fireballs, and you load them in there, and then you can dispense them, and then you can hook them through the end there. So that's pretty cool. That's all found at Eastside Bait and Tackle. And then at Spillway Bait and Tackle, uh, probably the, the best hand tied jig tire in the country uh, is Big Mike from Spillway Bait and Tackle. So got some new baits that wanted to have ready for down here at Lake Taupin, uh, Florida. And I mean, just got me some wedge tails made up. So we're going with the impending weather that's coming in, um, some of these hand tied jigs are gonna come in real, real handy. But, uh, so my camera guy, he, he's as bad as having a tournament partner. <laughs> and he, he's like, where are we gonna go? How long are we gonna be there? What time are we leaving? What time are we there? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. I, Golly, I haven't even rigged up a rod yet. So now I got my rod rigged up. Now with the weather changing the, the way it is, you know, the, the water temperature is 57 degrees. And when we was here the first of December, it was 62 degrees and the fish were in the creek channel. So um, come back here this time around, go to the creek channel, there was fish there. But I did catch a little fish, Russell. Yeah in about 17, 18 foot of water. Um, the last time there was no fish in that, that depth that we were last year. So I don't know. Um, again, um, everybody's gonna have a challenge of the weather this week. It's gonna come down to what are we gonna do to get those fish to bite and those fish to commit and um, you know, just get those bites. Now, the first day of the competition, they're saying it's 66 degrees. And it's going to go from 66 degrees that day down to 29 degrees. And then Saturday's high is like 45. So, um, but that's still, that 45 is still 44 degrees warmer than what we, we had leaving Ohio. So I'm going to try to keep that in mind this week. And uh, of course, you know, we're used to dressing up for the cold weather. So, um, but we just got to take some precautions. My original house that I rented had a cover for the boat where I could put my boat under and but this one doesn't so it's going to be rained on and it's going to freeze and so we got to do some prevention things like that but man I'm going to tell you something with all of that and all of that decision making and all the stuff that's happened with the housing and all whatever man I still get to fish for a living it's one of, I'm the luckiest man in the world that I get to fish for a living I get the greatest family support, I got the greatest sponsors. Um, my partner Randy Buzzard's gonna be flying in Wednesday afternoon and um, we're gonna get a full day of practice in. And that guy's lucky because the first day of practice he gets the fish, it's gonna be in the 60s again. So, um, but we got a lot of water to break down. Um, I'm glad to have my cameraman here and um, he runs uh, communications with the guy that renting the houses here. He's done a real good job keeping up with them. Um, but we're just gonna keep, uh, like I said, I got the best jig tire, I got the best plastics maker, I got the best rods, I got the best equipment that could be offered. And so it just comes down to execution. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna have a great time, great week. And um, the next uh, video you'll see from us or the next time we clip, we're gonna do a little little tour of the house once we get everything put where we need it. So um, you guys stay tuned. Man, this this, uh, this is a fun lake to fish and I hope you guys enjoy it and we'll see you.